roads on Fumba Town. As you can see, we have some major roads here. And then we've got like our, what they normally call secondary roads. Uh, our roads, our secondary roads generally consist of one layer, 250 millime millimeter layer. Uh, our primary roads consist of two layers because the traffic obviously is a lot more. First of all, our uh, road is mapped out, it's routed out, it's set out by surveyors. Uh, we'll then come and cut it out uh, to a, a level that we call the road bed, where now all our uh, sub-base and base will come and sit. Sub-base is our first layer. Uh, it's the material that's selected to, bear, to withstand the, the loads that, that the roads have been designed for. The second layer, you do the same process with your, with your grader, where you're working in the material, mixing it with water, um, then eventually compacting it. After that, you, gen you bring in a, a fine layer, it's fine sand now. You bring in that layer, you put it, uh, you spread it over, over the final base layer, and that's where your pavement blocks go over. Once your pavement blocks are in, you bring in that fine sand again, you put it on top of the pavement blocks, and then you sweep it in so that all the little spaces in between get filled, and then you generally compact it. Now to prevent uh, water damages on roads, that all, uh, always stems from the design. First it has to be your material, and then it has to be your, your uh, design slopes. So like I said, you get roads with camber, or you get them with cross falls, so it either falls all to one side, and then you should have associated stormwater drainage. In our case, on site, we are using um, planters, so we're directing water into planters that come, uh, plant uh, each unit has a plant in front of it. Basically all these roads here and streets and everything have been completed up to final layer works. It's just the paving that's remaining. Paving is generally a quick process. So uh, once the material arrives, generally 100 meters you can get it done in about two, three days. So as I've explained, our roads in Fumba Town, uh, having gone that vigorous process of material selection, using the finest equipment here in terms of uh, plant, uh, our roads are up to, uh, up to an international standard. So you can, be, you can rest assured that they will last for the duration of your stay in Fumba Town and beyond.